What's up YouTube, it's 419 Morphs. We're gonna do an update on the Xantic Clutch as well as some new news that I'm gonna be doing and coming out. So stay tuned, enjoy the intro. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the video guys. Let's go. I know it's been a while. I got Will behind the camera. What's up? Thank you, Will, for recording this. He's gonna help us today. We're gonna do a clutch update of the Leopard Double Head VPI Clown to the normal Double Head VPI Clown. I have decided to put those two breeders on Morph Market because I'm gonna work with a little bit with my hatchlings and stuff. We're gonna do some different. I'm gonna do some different things with this project, and I won't need these parents no more. So they are on my Morph Market account. Uh, check that out, it's under 419 Morphs. So check out that Morph Market, that pair is ready to go and be shipped sometime this week if you want. But further update on the Exantic. Oh, by the way, uh, here's the new tablecloth cover. Got the logo and stuff for the Expos. It's pretty awesome. Me and Will have been attending some Expos as well. We actually did pretty good. I think I've sold seven snakes, and well, how many have you sold now? Four. 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 Yeah. So Will's three, four, something like yeah, that. Yeah. So Will's, you know, we're doing pretty well at Expos. Actually, it's pretty fun. Fun talking to people. So if you're in the uh, area, come check us out. Uh, so real quick, the clutch update. I'm gonna pull my other tubs and stuff because I have already ID'd them. Um, they're already in my system, my data and stuff like that, and I don't want to mix them all up where I just group them together and show them like that. But unfortunately I can't do that because they're already ID'd and I don't want to mismatch them. So, here we go. I do believe I hit a, I hit one, two, three, four, five, I hit a, I hit a 2.5 on this clutch guys. So I got two males and five females. So let's go over this. So we're going to go from least to most, gene-wise. So the first one I have here is a male, and this is a, just a normal male. This is a normal 66% hat, double hat, VPI clown. I actually do think he will end up proving. He does have the white mark on his tail here and he is whiter around here like, like mom does so I think he's gonna end up proven but he's, regardless I can't say he's going to or not he's still a 66 percent head second one is the same thing. Now that you can see how this one's a little bit darker as well. It looks more gold. It looks more gold. So I think this one's going to prove out VPI Exantic and I don't think and I, and I think this one's going to prove out both. Because this one's whiter. It's definitely more white. You have the whites coming up from the Exantic, kind of the head you still kind of got the white tip of the tail, just barely slightly. It may not prove head clown, but I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. I'd be shocked if it didn't. And it still has that head stamp like dad does. So dad has that exact same head stamp and mom has that, that exact same head stamp. And I'll pull out the parents here real quick for that. You guys can see. That is the exact same, they got the exact same head stamp as that. So. I put these guys back. Yeah, 
And this one too is a normal 66% double hut. It's lighter, same kind of gold color. This is a 1.2. So the very first one I showed was a male. The last two are a female. So if you guys want a group pairing on these, they can probably throw something pretty sweet together. If you want to do a 1.2 on this. So, yeah guys, so with, with those three right now, I'm not going to keep those because I'm working with a little bit other stuff. So if someone's interested in those three, uh, 1.2, Get a hold of me and I'll throw you a package deal, probably pretty cheap, that you probably won't be able to refuse. So right now we're gonna do the Xantics. <clears throat> this too is a female. So we got one Xantic. And then you have a male Xantic. Which is really interesting to see they still have the same head stamp as dad. That one has the same head stamp as mom. It's a little hazy. I'm same head stamp as mom. Now there was leopard in the pairing. And this isn't showing any leopard. Really nice snake. I think the Xantic's just kind of messing it up. And same thing with this. Really gorgeous. It does have some chaining on the neck. Like right here. So it could be a low expression leopard, but I highly doubt it. I'm just calling it two Xantics. One's a male, one's a female. Just one's darker than the other. Just kind of different expressions. And then they don't want to cooperate. <laughs> they never do. We're just doing this on a live take, guys. So this is what you get. So really nice snakes. So you can clearly see the kind of different expressions. You get more grays, more pattern. Get more of a black back, same kind of tones. Just nothing really indicating that there's leopard in that pattern at all. So. <clears throat> the last Xantic, if I hit three Xantics. The last Xantic. I kind of floated with the idea of this one being more leopard because of this. But again, it's just not enough for me to say that it is. So I'm just saying it's just the Xantic messing it up. Same head stamp. So mm -hmm. it's really cool actually. So this is just another Xantic. And for me, the best one out of this clutch was the Leopard Clown. That 66% hat Xantic girl. Look at the, the head stamp on that. It's insane. Really nice leopard clown. You can tell it's, and I know it's leopard too because you get the really reduction straight line in this, which is definitely telling me that it's leopard. And plus, you're getting, you know, this right here isn't from, isn't usually like a normal clown, so it's kind of running together. So. So what, this is a leopard clown. This side has more pattern than this side, which is kind of weird. 
you know, kind of runs together right there and it like goes away here pretty cool so So there's the update on the Xanta clutch as well. We'll be going to Tinley in, when is Tinley? Two weeks? Three two weeks? E three weeks, I think. Three weeks? I think Tinley's in three weeks, guys. The first weekend in October. Yeah, it's the first weekend of October. So we'll be down at Tinley for sure Saturday. I'm doing, I'm hoping to get my one that I've had hold, on hold for a month. Um, that's a surprise one. I don't know if I'm, we'll, we probably will make a video about that one. We got a good one. And no, it's not recessive at all. It's something more fun than that. So, uh, so t stay tuned to that. Uh, the Het Ultramail, Het Ultramail Clutch. It was a super NG to the Black Pastel Bamboo Het Ultramail. They are due around the same time, around the end of this month. So we'll be cutting those as well. So make sure you guys check out the Morph Market. There's still plenty of snakes on there. If you see something that you like, let me know. We can work something out. I do do payment plans. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We're going to get back to doing the podcast here shortly on Saturdays. It's just been hectic here lately. I've just been busy. I need some time off. It happens. Will understands. And I've been redoing my rack system for the rats. So Will's been helping me build that. And we've been getting that together because I can't keep up with my rats right now. So we're still growing, we're still upgrading. We got some big projects coming in the future, guys. Stay tuned. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. From me and Will, we're out, guys. See ya. Peace.